So your first priority, your number one relationship has to be you. Belfie, <laughs> I'm here to show you how to take the best butt selfie ever. Okay, so first step is you wanna make sure you get a nice good pump, all right? So you can just do a little uh, 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 and a little ee, ee, ee. A booty band is what really gets a good nice pump and a good burn, especially with this sturdy, durable, amazing, comfortable band. Step two, let's get into our posing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go over the three common mistakes that I see done while taking a belfie. <laughs> The first common mistake that I see is when people take like their family pictures or take pictures in general and they're just standing straight up and down. When you stand straight up and down, it doesn't really give you any curves. So I'm gonna teach you today how to actually create more of an S curve that gives you more of a feminine hourglass figure. The second common mistake that I see are people that are, are girls that are just staying flat footed in their pictures. This also creates more of a, um, a flat kind of dull look. But the second you're able to kind of pop up onto your toes, it gives a very much more feminine look, uh, such as if you're in your high heels. Um, and then the third common mistake that I see is their hand placement. I see a lot of hand placements that are just like, you know, really like gripping you, like, you, you're, like you're gripping something that's large. Instead, try to shorten your fingers and try to make some, um, grab your waistline like it's smaller rather than like you're just holding something that's big. It creates, a, it creates an image that like it, it's like you're holding something big rather than holding something small. So it just kind of gives a, a little bit of an effect that way. So. As far as um, now going into the S curve and really getting your booty to pop and making your waist look the smallest, what I want you to do is go ahead and turn to the side. And if you're shorter, what you can do is you can go ahead and place one foot forward. What this does, it actually makes you look a little bit taller. Um, for those that wanna do right here, that's totally fine as well, but whatever to make you a little bit longer, as you can tell it does that. Next is you wanna to try to make your waist look the smallest without any wrinkles and without any you know, stuff hanging out. <laughs> so um, I, I see you know, common like where you're bent over too much and things like that, it just doesn't look normal. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn to the side, put all of your weight onto that one leg and go ahead and just pop it out. From here, what I want you to do is, is now it's that S curve. I want you to bring your shoulders a little forward. So now that it's going from your shoulders down to your hips, and then down to your knee. It's definitely creating more of an, of an S curve with your body, as you can see. Um, as far as a, as a butt selfie, ones that I've noticed is um, just to bringing your leg out. Um, looks a little kind of dull and not so fun, right? But if you pop up onto your feet and you have one leg bent, it kind of creates an illusion that it's like a very hourglass look. So bringing the knees together and popping that booty out looks just looks a lot looks a lot better. So um, instead of just standing straight like that, hopefully these tips helped on how to take your belfie.